Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Really delighted to have, uh, you know, my very good friend, Annette Muggs. She's a regular on The Price of Business, and I love the work she does with Carlton Staffing. I think, I think what the problem is for so many business owners today is that right from day one, you're just saddled with everything from, uh, you know, your corporate status to taxes to regulations to it's unbelievable what we are saddled with. Yet we're also expected to make a living in the creative business, you know, and it's so difficult to do and the challenges are so huge. And so I, for one, am a, a huge fr- fan of what you're doing at Carlton Staffing. I think it's phenomenal what you're doing. And we've kind of talked a little bit over time um, about uh, your tech, the tech wing of what you do, but we've never dug into it. And so I'm excited that we're going to do some of that today. And, and it's good to see you. Thank you, Kevin. You know what? If I could, I would hire you as a salesperson. You well, are phenomenal. Thank I, you. I appreciate it. And I talk about you all the time to people. And so uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge advocate of what you do. Talk a little bit about, uh, first of all, go ahead and give the elevator speech, if you will, for both Carleton Staffing and for the tech wing, if you will. Perfect. So Carleton Staffing is a 30-year-old regional firm. We're in Houston, Dallas, and Fort Worth. And we place temporary attempt to hire and direct hire people placements um, in any position that would be in an office, so an administration, administrative um, assistant or an accounting person or um, a customer service or clerk kind of, per- kind of placement, um, or we also place anywhere out in the warehouse, so including skill trade. And I'm very excited to talk about another division of ours called Carl Tech, and I have the branch manager here today, Jeff Thigpen. Thank you for joining us, Jeff. Good to see you. Tell us a little bit about your. Uh, how long have you been there with uh, with the company? Well, uh, thanks, uh, Kevin and Annette. I've been with Carl Tech now for uh, four years. Very good. What and, and <clears throat> kind of give us an overview of your division? So Carl Tech is, in a sense, the engineering and technical or engineering and IT division of Carlton Staffing. So we provide similar services in the, in that we do contract personnel and uh, direct hire placements, uh, but we do them specifically within uh, those technical fields of engineering and IT. Yeah, very good. Annette? So, Jeff, we've talked to other customers on this show um, about the change in the market and what they've done to um, overcome some of the challenges that their companies had because of the change. So how has the drop in oil prices affected Carl Tech? <clears throat> well, um, certainly the drop in oil prices affect us all. Um, specific to Carl Tech, um, we historically had been, prior to this past year, focused heavily in the manufacturing space um, and heavily within companies that uh, produced oil field related equipment and services. And so, um, you know, that's taken a huge hit, uh, and that's an area, you know, where we see some continued contract work, but a huge retraction in hiring and, and quite a bit of layoffs. So there's no direct work there now. Fortunately, uh, there's a lot more to engineering in Houston than just oil and gas. And so over the past couple of years, we've been successful in applying our process to civil engineering and industrial automation. Um, with all of the petrochemical facility growth, and Prop 7 passing at this uh, the last voting period, we'll see um, two areas of engineering that have already been in high demand, and those will continue to grow pretty uh, through 2016 and beyond. By the way, explain what Prop 7 is for those who aren't familiar. Yep, um, that's a great question. Prop 7 is a constitutional amendment that passed uh, in uh, the state of Texas that dedicates portions of the state's general sales and use tax and other taxes uh, specifically for transportation funding. So TxDOT, in a sense, um, as it looks, appears now, their budget will double uh, between now and, and 2018 and, and will continue to do so. So it guarantees funding in the Constitution, uh, additional funding for our infrastructure. So that's great for to be a civil engineer in Texas for the that's next 20 great. years. That's great, and then <laughs> So what would you say differentiates Carl Tech from other placement firms who do the same placement in your niche? We get asked that a lot. Um, so, you know, I could go on and on about how great I think uh, we are. I don't know that we have that much time. But um, <laughs> I'll tell you that our clients tell us it's because of our process and our consistent delivery. Uh, we've got a 97% successful placement rate over the past two years on direct placement. And, you know, that's not just the result of our process, but also the result of our clients and our candidates' commitment to all being partners in the process. 
you know, and that commitment stems from our, our approach and how we engage our clients and our candidates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, by the way, give give the website. Is there a specific website that's different than the Carlton Staffing? Give the give the website. There is. Our website is www.carltechusa.com. That's c a r l t e c h dot com. Yeah, and I tell you, this is an extremely important area, and I love again. It's, it's essentially an ability to to get an enormous amount of vetting done on the front end that that the typical employer doesn't have the ability to do, nor the desire to do, as far as that goes. And uh, the way the ability to be able to start relationships where you almost get to date before you have to commit to a long term relationship. I love those different aspects to what you guys do, and, and, and elaborate a little bit on that. And I I would think particularly in the uh, tech field. Uh, that would be extremely attractive, you know, in a tech field to a, to a, a potential employee. Because I've got two sons who are in the programming field, and uh, you know, and one of them loves to change jobs. <laughs> I mean, he loves to change jobs. The other one's married and has a, has a, a grandson for me, uh, and so he's a little more stable than the other one. Uh, but the one who loves to change jobs, he doesn't have any problem changing jobs either. You know, And so I, I would think that the dynamic of this relationship is not only beneficial for the employer, but wildly beneficial for the potential employee as well. Uh, you're absolutely right. It's the old adage of... Um... You know, you don't have enough experience for the job, but I need experience to get the job. Mm -hmm. So contracting, uh, taking those contract jobs on is a great way to get that. Um, And it does provide you a lot of flexibility. You brought up, I believe, your son, and it's more in the tech world, so in the IT space where we put people in network and systems administration and software and and application development. So we do a lot of contract work there. It's very heavy project-driven when people need to ramp up new projects. So it's exciting because on the contract side, you're not stuck in the same company doing the with the same technology the whole time. You can jump from project to project. You won't get bored if you're that type of person. Or, you know, some people like the the day-in, day-out comfort of the corporate world. But if you keep your skills up and you keep your certifications up and up to date, you're not going to go without a job in the tech world. Yeah, sounds like it. Go ahead, Annette. So if I were an either an engineering candidate or an IT candidate, and maybe not even a candidate yet, just currently employed looking for something that might be a career change, what would you say would be the position right now in each of those areas where you know you could get placed quickly? Like what's hot right now? Well, what's hot right now, um, if, you have, if you have a degree in civil engineering, uh, what's hot right now um, is is that in general. I mean, we, we have a need for project managers with PE license. I mean, that's a little bit more advanced in your field. But if you're going to looking at making a switch, you know, the IT world is a great place to go into um, the uh, network and the infrastructure side. You can get some certifications at your local college. You can pick up some some contract work, and, and you can be well on your way. And with, with four or five years in certifications, I mean, you could be making, you know, 65000 or quite a bit more. Just it's kind of up to you. You just got to get a couple of years under your belt and get the certifications and keep up with it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, final thoughts from you, Annette, as we wrap up the segment. We've talked about candidates, but but if you would, Jeff, talk a little bit about what an ideal client would be. You know, what kind of companies are you looking to work with? Well, an ideal client for us is someone who's committed to our process. Um, and with us, that that means, you know, that we're honest, we communicate uh, well with each other, and we have clear expectations. And, it, you know, in the, in the tech world, uh, things move quickly, uh, especially in, in Houston where things are in high demand, both on engineering and IT side. So expectations, clear expectations, communication are a must. Very good. Great stuff. And give both of those websites real quickly, Annette, as we wrap it up. CarltonStaffing.com and the other one? Yeah, the other one is CarltechUSA.com. There you go. C-A-R- Check them out. And then you can get to Carltech USA, I assume, from Carlton Staffing. Yes. That's correct. Pretty easily. Thanks to both of you. Great segment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Tomorrow we're going to have much more for you. Do you want to remind you, though, the show continues 24-7 at PriceOfBusiness.com. Best content here. Find it over there at USDataReview.com. And have a great rest of your day. 